Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com and today I'm going to show you a few tips on how to install chair rail. First of all, you want to put the bottom of the chair rail approximately 32 to 36 inches off the floor. You may want to adjust it according to your chair height. So now I'm using a finished nail gun with two and a half inch uh, nails and putting them in every 16 inches on, on stud centers. You'll notice too I'm putting them in the thickest part of the uh, chair uh, rail. Since corners are usually not 90 degrees square, um, what I'm doing here is a cope cut on one end of the second piece of uh, chair rail. Effectively I cut it at a 45 degree angle um, with the miter saw, then I used a coping saw and went effectively um, in the opposite direction at a 45 degree angle to get this coped uh, corner. Basically I removed material from the back side. And so now it should butt up into this corner and over the original uh, piece of molding that I installed in and look fairly well snug and tight. And as you can see there that's nice and clean, just a little uh, caulk or wood filler and that seam will never be noticeable. So I'm going to continue to work my way around the room in a counterclockwise direction installing the uh, chair rail. Uh, we could have gone in a clockwise direction it's just best to go in one uh, direction continuously around the room. And we're just continuing to uh, work around uh, the room installing the chair rail again putting uh, two and a half inch uh, brad finish nails every 16 inches um, on stud centers. And we're just continuing to work our way around the room. So now I'm using lightweight spackle to fill in the nail holes. And now I'm applying a small bead of caulk along the top edge. This is a paintable caulk. Once it's on, I'll quickly wipe it down with a moist wet towel. Alright, so now I'm just applying touch-up paint over the nail holes and along the center of the chair rail to wrap up this project. So that's it for installing chair rail. It took about three hours, about $50 material, and a few basic tools. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at HomeEditionPlus.com today.